140. 13. Ade Dira Aziz Olajide Mail. PDP. Total votes received 62449. 62449. 62,449. 62,449. 14. Osman Olakule Taufik. Male. SDP. Total votes received. 1746. 1746. 1000. 746 1746 15 Ajayiwa Siu Adebayo Male YPP Total votes received 461 461 461 461 16 Ademi Pebi Mode Adekole Adele Pebi Mode Adekole Male ZLP Total votes received one six three five one six three Five one thousand six hundred and thirty five one thousand six hundred and thirty five I declare that Sawo Olu Babajide Olu Shola of APC Having satisfied, having satisfied the requirements of the law uh, by scoring 25% in two-thirds of the local government areas in the state, and also having the highest number of votes cast, and meeting the requirements of the law is hereby declared the winner and is returned elected. Signed by Professor Adenike Oladiji this day, 20th day of March, 2023. Thank you very much for your patience.
First of all, I want to commend the people of Lagos State for, even though I'm not very happy, because I thought that at least many of the parties will score over. If you have 6.2 million PVCs collected in Lagos State, and those about a million, one hundred thousand are doing, are coming out for election, it is not too good for us. We should be able to do better than this. At least I expected more results because we have not, we have not uh, uh, also complemented our efforts in mobilizing you to collect these PVCs. I do believe most sincerely that next time that we will come together and things will also improve than it has been. All the same, we thank all of you. We are very grateful and wish you safe journey back to your different homes. Thank you and good night. God bless you all. Please sit down now. Thank you very much. We need the governor needs to talk to the world. Can we have all our people standing to please sit down? All our people standing. You are in front of the camera, please sit down. Thank you very much. All right, all right. Please, all those in front of the cameras need to sit down now. Thank you. Thank you. If you have nothing doing in front of the cameras, we need you to take your seat. We are not unruly in Lagos. When we celebrate, we celebrate. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the governor of the central
I just want to first express my profound gratitude to all Lagosians, all of you in large numbers, that have come out to our farm, that once again, Lagos has chosen competence and experience on our match to play it. Like we did four years ago, while we were giving a delivery speech, we know that we have a great responsibility for all of our citizens. And that you have been confirmed again today. We know that Lagos has worked for most of you. Our commitment is that Lagos will further work for us. Femi and I will be committed to ensure that all of our promises, all of the things that we have said, will make it happen. The ones that we have started will make it we we'll make sure that we complete them and the new ones that were promised, we will do them. But I think first is to thank Almighty God who has kept all of us, all of us, for sparing our lives, for making it possible for each and every You don't even know us, you don't know me personally, but you all came out to express this show of love. You all came out to express your constitutional responsibility, and at the end of it, both myself and my brother, Dr. Femi Hamzat, have been re-elected to run this interesting city and state of ours for Lagos State. I'm indeed very, very grateful and happy with our party, the All Progressive Congress, the party of choice, the party that continues to remain the hope for a lot of Nigerians, the biggest party in Africa. I want to thank the leadership of our party for keeping the progressive mind alive. I also want to thank our president elect, Ashwa Jubora Ahmed. The man who can start the journey of the modern Lagos. And we're indeed happy and excited that both Lagos and himself will now be on the same journey and achieving the Nigeria and the Lagos journey together. Mr. President elect, Thank you very much. We wish you the very, very, very best in your new assignment. To our leader, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, we want to thank you. We want to thank you for promising us that you are committed to living fair, a fair, just, and equitable country. This electoral process has shown, the outcome of it has shown, that you are indeed, you are a man that has continued to reflect fairness. And we believe 
that what you have done in this election, prosperity will judge you well on this. You have been fair, you have been equitable, you have been just to everyone. I want to also thank my family, my dear wife, she is there, the wife of my deputy. We cannot do it without all of the support that you continue to give Femi and I. To all of our fellow contestants, we want to salute you for participating in the democratic process. But the Russians have spoken, and they have spoken well. They have spoken loud. Please remember that we are extending a hand of fellowship to you. No victor, no vanquish. In the true spirit of sportsmanship, if you indeed believe that you want to serve this city, you want to serve this state, you have an opportunity with us. And we will open our doors to listen and to give you a space in this government. During this campaign, unfortunately, we have seen very divisive rhetorics, which is not a definition of who we are. And so, Russians, we need to come together and further build the capacity, the competence, and the experience that we have in this city. Religious will not divide us. Ethnicity will not divide us. Lagos will come out bigger, stronger, and better. I want to salute all of the multitude of Russians who have refused to succumb to any form of divisiveness. And we're thankful that at the end of it, Lagos will continue to remain first. And it is you, Lagosians, that have indeed won this electoral battle. Of course, we are not unaware that there are few skirmishes in some parts of the city. And I'm sure the security operatives are alive to their responsibility to ensure that Lagos continue to remain peaceful, to continue to remain resourceful, and continue to remain home to all law-abiding citizens of this country. Relevant law agencies, law enforcement agencies, have been instructed to ensure that we keep this state, we keep this city safe for all of us. And as I said in my final pre-election address, we have a lot of work to do. Moving forward, left behind any form of divisive rhetorics that would certainly not shape what we believe in. It's time for all of us to roll up our sleeves once again and push on to the development agenda of Lagos. And very importantly, it cannot be overemphasized that what unites us as Lagos is far more important and substantial than whatever people can want to divide us. We will not be divided. We are Lagosians. This is our city, this is our state, and we will build it bigger, better, and stronger. The true Lagos spirit is an embracing one, and that's what we have put on the table. The election is over. Governance will continue. The dividend of democracy must continue to be delivered to all of our teaming uh, citizens. To all people who will keep our promise to you. And that is a commitment that I'm given to you on behalf of myself and my deputy, Dr. Hamzat. I will close by saying some of the things that I said when almost four years ago you also gave me this mandate. That what you have done, Abortions, it's not a vote for Babatide Sohul. You voted for a greater Lagos. You voted that the promise shall not be broken. The promise of a greater Lagos will certainly not be promised, will not be broken. The greater Lagos is rising. And in your very high, you will see the growth and development of these states to a level that will be the envy of all. Let me boldly say once again that we're on the just course, we're on the right course. The conversion of Lagos is on track. 
The delivery of Lagos is on track. Our hands are open to accommodate everyone. Because indeed, the train is on the move. God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you all. All right, uh, victory is uh, certainly sweet. That was the governor of Lagos State, Babajide Olushola Sonwolu, and uh, just re-elected governor for a second term. And uh, that was his victory speech, his acceptance speech, if you may, um, talking about uniting the state and uh, improving on what has already been achieved in Lagos. This has been a difficult um, election season, and so when speeches like this come, talking about unity, talking about growth, talking about development, uh, it's the way to go in terms of managing election victory. Well, let me thank uh, my colleague Ruth Aguele, who held the fort for a long time, up until um, 1 a.m. when we joined the NT International uh, studio for the news at 1, which well, we had to stop halfway because of uh, the declaration of results from Lagos. But right back here in the studio, we still have uh, Dr. Menasara Kogo Umar. Uh, he's been around for a long time, and if you call him the associate presenter, you wouldn't be wrong on a day like this. It's a pleasure to have you <laughs> stay you. back with us. Thank you.